A partial lunar eclipse will take place on Wednesday, the 17th and 18th of September 2024, the second of two lunar eclipses in 2024, and the final partial lunar eclipse of lunar Saros. This eclipse will take place nine hours before perigee, meaning the moon will be a supermoon with a distance of 357,486 kilometers and diameter of 33.4. Lunar eclipses happen when Earth aligns between the sun and the moon, casting a shadow on the moon's surface. These eclipses can only occur during a full moon, making them a fascinating target for sky watching. Here comes another set starting with a partial lunar eclipse on September 17, 2024. The corresponding solar eclipse will take place in October. On this night, look for the moon to turn partially red if you're viewing from Europe, much of Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Pacific, Atlantic, Indian Ocean, Arctic, and Antarctica. The maximum part of eclipse will begin on September 18 at 2.14 GMT and end at 3.16 GMT. In the United States, lunar eclipse will begin on September 17 at 22.14 EDT and end at 23.16 Eastern Daylight Time. This partial lunar eclipse will be a short eclipse, lasting just one hour and covering a small portion of the lunar disk. The total duration of the partial lunar eclipse is four hours and six minutes. The thing that makes this lunar eclipse special one that it coincides with second supermoon of the year. To watch a lunar eclipse, Simply step outside, look up, and enjoy the view. No special equipment like a telescope is necessary. However, binoculars or a small telescope can enhance the experience by revealing details on the moon's surface. Moon watching is just as captivating during an eclipse as at any other time. If the eclipse takes place in winter, be sure to dress warmly if you plan to stay outside for the entire event, as it can take a couple of hours to unfold. Consider bringing warm drinks, blankets, or chairs for added comfort. How long do lunar eclipses last? It depends on how deeply the moon penetrates into the Earth's umbra and how far away the moon is from the Earth. When the moon is near its closest point to Earth, perigee, it is moving much faster in its orbit as compared to when it's near its farthest point from Earth, apogee. Generally speaking, in the case of a total eclipse, it can last about three hours one hour for the moon to move completely into the umbra, one hour for the moon to be completely immersed in the umbra, and one hour for the moon to move out of the umbra. Totality can vary from just a few minutes to as long as 107 minutes. In the latter case, the moon moves directly through the center of the Earth's shadow while moving at its slowest in its orbit, apogee. The visibility of the eclipse will depend on local weather conditions. Observers should have a clear view of the western sky, as the moon will be setting in the west during the eclipse. To best view the eclipse, we recommend finding a location away from city lights with an unobstructed view of the western horizon. While the eclipse will be visible to the naked eye, binoculars or a small telescope can enhance the viewing experience, allowing observers to see more detail on the lunar surface. So, are you excited to watch the lunar eclipse on September 17th? Please let us know in the comments below from where you are watching the lunar eclipse. For space updates, subscribe to Secrets of Space.